Hello everyone, you are welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we will be looking at FlashLab. We will be considering the explanation of FlashLab, the modeling, analysis, and design of FlashLab. So the question is, what is FlashLab? FlashLab is a two-way reinforced concrete slab that usually does not have beams and gear and the loads are transferred directly to the supporting concrete column. So straight away, we will be looking at the uses of flash lab. Flash lab are normally used, mostly used in a large industrial structures, parking garage, ramps, warehouse, high rise buildings, and hotels. They are also used where uses of beam are not required or where the structure requires less from work. All right. So the next thing we are going to be looking at is how load is transferred from flash slab. In flash slab, just like this, okay, the load on the slab are directly transferred by plate action to the column. Whereas in conventional slab with beams, the load are transferred from slab to the beams and then from beam to the column. So in this type of slab, which is the flash slab, load are transferred from slab directly to the column. And we want to be looking at different types of uh, flash slab, actually. The type of flash lab are as follows. We have the simple flash lab. Flash lab with drop panels, which is this one you are seeing. It has a drop panel just like this, okay? Flash lab with column head. Flash lab with both drop panel and column head. All right? So we have to proceed and we'll be looking at why drops are provided in flash lab. Why do we have drops in flash lab? Drop panels increase the shear strength of the flash lab flows. All right. So having understand what is flash slab straight away, we want to be going into the modeling of flash lab. For instance, for a normal flash lab, I can select this column right away, this one, or I can navigate to the structural tree, enable the column right away. Select this one. After having this column select just like this, I can right click and check the property of that. Okay, I can come to the drop right away. Uncheck this insert column drop panel. All right. So by the time I uncheck this and then I update, you can see this is another type of uh, flash lab entirely with respect to this column now, which doesn't have drop panel. All right. So this is how it is. So straight away, we will create a new project and we we model a flash slab with a column drop panels. So for me, for us to do that, we will navigate to the new tab there. Click on the new project tab. For this project, we say no. We don't want to save that. So we're going to give it a name as a flat slab. Just like this, okay. Flash lab one, click on okay. So we choose the 810, then import right away. Wait for some seconds. So here we go. We want to be uh, placing, setting out the grids, okay. So I'll click on the orthogonal axis uh, generator, All right? So if I click anywhere, that is where the grid line is going to actually start. So I want to click. At the origin, we are, will have the universal coordinate system here, so that it, the, uh, the grid setup will start from the uh, origin, in case of exports of this work to other programs. So I click right away. So in the generator pr property, I will be having in these directions, I'm having 4 meter right away into 3, while in this direction is 5 meter, and then I'll add more spans to reach uh, 3,500, right? 3,500 comma again and have another panel to be 3,000 just like this all right so I'll click on okay so this is what I have just like this so straight away I want to be placing the column right away so I click on the column reinforce concrete column and for the type of column I'm going to use it's going to be a circular column so I'll come to the property manager or section manager 
and select this uh, cycle black columns right away click on ok and then you can see the diameter is 400 millimeter so before i start this instructions i will come to the drop tab i want to be inserting column drop panel so i click to check that provisions after which since i'm having the diameter of the columns to be 400 the sections of the drop is going to be 500 by 500 and then i click on center for these eccentricities and then the dropped height is going to be 400 right away just like that so i'm going to click and hold the left mouse button just like this and then pull my hand across the grid line intersections so as to place the columns once and for all just like this so you can see the drop right away i click on this close button to get out of this uh, command all right close that the next thing we'll be placing now is the slab itself so i click on slab right there so in the general tab the slab thickness i'm going to be considering is 250 all right i will maintain the concrete cover then i come to the load the additional dead loads i'm going to have it as three while the imposed loads i'm going to have it as uh i'll be using banking or this one all right so after which i'll just have to place the slab right away okay all right just like this then i close the command i can as well add load on this slab right away so i can just click on this line line loads in the property i'll select the uniform distributor load and then i will add a 10 kilo newton load on this panel so i'll zoom it closely that's not the point i'll escape that i pick that point cut it across to this extent and i placed it it will give a warning okay that the line load is cutting across the slab so that is not an issue so i placed another one right away from this point to this same point so this can be served as a partition load maybe you want to partition uh, you want to have a partition across these provisions so this is a partition load okay so i'll have another one right away just like this click on ok so after which i will close that provisions and the next thing is to start stories so i want to be having three 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 stories total of three stories so i will navigate to the story right away right click and then insert story as three just like this okay and okay again all right so i will navigate back to story one then i'll be generating the stories okay so i will go back to story again right click and click on generate story in these provisions from the target story is story two and then i'll hold the control key to get to select the story three altogether click on okay to generate from story one to story two and three successfully and it's completed now I'll click on okay so after which i cannot navigate to the 3d to see what i've done so far which is this all right so this is flash lab with drop panel all right so we have completed the modeling of this slab right away i'll save the project first so the project is saved successfully the next thing we want to be doing is to start to place the slab strips because we are going to be using three ways of analysis in this particular project we'll be considering the uh we're considering the static analysis all right we'll also be considering the finite element analysis and the bash low chase down analysis method as well to complete the design of a flash slab using proton structure so for us to be able to generate the strips or the rebars successfully we need to place a strip so i will navigate to story one and then navigate to the plan view of that so we are going to be placing a strips across these provisions so i'll click on these strips right away just like that and then we will be considering the finite element strips this one and then we navigate we want to start from the y directions which is upward directions all right so i will come to these provisions you can see it is bob to bob you can come to the finite element this is the strip you are going to be considered this one i get that select so i will try to look at the center point of this provisions you can see it's trying to show me the center point right away that small uh, uh triangle okay that is the center point i picked that i cut across these provisions and place that just like this so i want to be extending these strips <coughs> so as to touch this column at grey lines one and two all right so i'll come to the general tab in these provisions i'll make it 2500 okay so 2500 just like this click on update that is it 
in the right direction the same thing 2500 click on update to have that so we'll continue to place that so i pick the center point of that I pick that center point take it across to this other end place that just like that all right so in this case this panel is the span is smaller than the other one so we need to edit the we need to edit this so come to these provisions instead instead of uh 2500 we will be having uh 1500 click on update all right let's increase it to 17 update all right this side is the same thing 1700 update so this will enable us to be able to generate our strips successfully in this direction we may have a one eight right away so you can fully cover it very well so the next place we are going to be providing it is there so we look at that small rectangle right that small uh, triangle which indicate the center of the point pick that center point and then hold the control key to have a straight line click right away then come to this position and adjust that so maybe we use 1500 this time around click on updates all right that's good to go the same thing there 1500 updates right away just like this okay so having done this click on update and closed the same thing we are going to do on this story 2 and the story 3 okay so i want to navigate to the 3d right away all right so we have completed the modeling successfully in the next lesson we will be looking at the uh building combinations analysis and as well design of this flash lab so stay tuned like the lesson and if you are yet to subscribe subscribe and we'll see you in the next lesson i'm so freezing bye for now